guys. Uh, before we start our next unit, which is actually going backwards, we're going to be reviewing some prerequisite skills. If you recall, we originally were, this is unit 5, so it's from a while back. Originally, we were going to be doing this unit in May, um, a, a little earlier in May to align with our, what would have been our field day. So that's why we're going backwards. Um, so we're returning back to it now. And before we start, I'd like to go over a few things that are, are expected that you know. This is not in your textbook. So make sure you either print this out or <clears throat> follow along in your notes. Last time we learned about this was a very long time ago. So it had to be towards the end of sixth grade. So it was pretty far in your um, past. So first things first, measures of central tendency. If you recall from last year, we were looking at data sets. And what we wanted to do was we wanted to try to get one number that could pretty much describe the whole set of data. So if you think about sports are the most um, relatable um, data example to give, really. Even if you think about something like um, our darling Madison, right, who is a gymnast. And, you know, she probably has a whole bunch of data, all of her statistics, you know, um, results from her gymnastics. And um, anyone who plays a sport has um, has their own personal statistics as well. So, um, you know, for example, if you played uh, football, you let's say you're a quarterback, you have the passes that you've completed, the yards that you've thrown, things like that. So when you have a big set of data, what you can do is you can get a measure of central tendency to get a general idea of what the data looks like. Instead of saying, oh, so, you know, this is all the scores, blah, 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 blah. You can say an average score would be this, right? So the first one that we need to know is the mean. And the mean is what we really know as an average, right? And then we have the median. And the median is what we know as the middle. And then the mode is what we know as the most common or most frequent. So the mean, if you remember, what we do for the mean or the average is we add everything up and then divide by the total number. Add it all up, divide by total number. And the total number is the total number of data values not the total of all the numbers added up together. The median is the middle, so in order to find the median, you have to, have to, have to list it from least to greatest first. And then find the center value. And if you have an even number of data values, remember you have to find the average of the middle too most common, all you have to do is look and see which one is occurring the most. Okay, so let's talk more about these. So for the first example, we're just going to look at a, a, um, a data set and we're going to find all three things. We're going to find the mean, the median, and the mode. So this is all done. So I'm going to just show you <clears throat> and then we'll do one ourselves. So here is an amusement park's student's hourly wages. They're hiring students, this is what they're getting paid. Okay, so we want to find the mean, the median, and the mode so that we can give about a good approximation of what these kids are making. So the mean, what we do is we add them all up. All of these together and you get 58.8. Then you divide by the total number that there are. So there's two, four, six, eight values. So you divide by eight. And for this lesson, please make sure you're using your calculator because we're, it's gonna get a little crazy. To find the median, you list everything in order from least to greatest. So the smallest value here was 3.87 and then going up. And then what I was saying before is if you have an even value, um, even number of values, what I showed you guys last year was crossing off from the ends like this until you get to the middle, if you remember. 
but then we have two in the middle. So there is no middle middle term. So what you do is you find the halfway point between these two numbers. And to do that, you have to find the average. So what we did here was we did 7.25 plus 7.99 divided by 2. And that will give us the halfway point. Sometimes it will be something like 7 and 8. And then you can just say, well, 7 and a half is halfway between 7 and 8. Sometimes. Um, and that's how you get your median. And then finally for the mode, you're just looking for the number that occurs the most. And a lot of times in a data set, you won't have any mode at all. What you can see is that there's 725 occurs twice. So that would be your mode. So let's, let's find our own. We're going to just find the median and the mode for this one, okay? Uh, for these two, sorry. This is the example, same thing. We had 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 values, which means that it's an even number, so you have to find the average. So let's take a look at these two ourselves. So what we could see, if we have to find the median, we have to list it from least to greatest. So we go through and find the smallest number, which in this case is 4, and I cross it off. Followed by 6, 7, and then another 7, and then I have a 9, 11, 15, and 17. Okay, and now I'm from least to greatest. Cross them off as you go so you don't miss one. And now to find the median, I'm going to go from the end until I get to the middle. But as you can see, I'm left with two in the middle. And this is a nice easy one. Halfway between seven and nine is eight. Right? So the median is eight. Now, if that doesn't make sense to you, all you have to do is find the average of those two by going like this. Seven plus nine divided by two. So seven plus nine is sixteen. And 16 divided by 2 is 8. Okay? So that's the other way to do it. And then, of course, the mode. Um, I have two 7s. So my mode is 7. It's the most frequently occurring number. Okay? So let's do number 10 now. These are bigger numbers, so we're probably going to use our... <clears throat> we won't need our calculators unless we're finding the mean right now. Um, but if we're going to do the median, we might need it. So let's take a peek. The smallest number I see here is 36, followed by 37, and then I have 40, 43, 44, 49, 50, 51, and 56. Okay, so we'll cross off the ends till we get to the middle and see what we have going on here. And we actually have a middle value. Okay, because this was an uneven number. You can always check at the beginning if you want. 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. So our median is just right in the middle. So it's 44. And we do not have a mode. There's no numbers that are repeating. Right? So there's no mode. And that's it. Nice and easy. <clears throat> now let's practice finding the mean. So if you have the calculator, go ahead and grab it because we're going to be trying to simplify this process for ourselves. Okay? So remember to find the mean. What you do is you add all the numbers up and then you divide by how many there are. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 values. Sometimes I like to write it so I don't forget. <clears throat> no need to put them in order from least to greatest when you're doing the mean. Just add them up. So you do have to write it out though. So you're going to write 9 plus 16 plus 13 plus 14 plus 10 plus 16 plus 17 plus 9 all divided by the total number which was 8. Okay. And now we're going to put it in our calculator. Oh, sorry, that was in an algebra class. And now you're going to do the whole thing. 9 plus 16 plus 13 plus 14 <coughs> plus 10 plus 16 plus 17 plus 9. And that gives us 104 divided by 8. So in your calculators, 
don't clear it out, just write divided by, it's going to use your previous answer. 8 equals 13. So our mean is 13. So you kind of want to look at the data and see, does that actually give us a good approximation? Are a lot of the data values close to 13? It's all right. It's not the best, but it's all right. Okay. So now why don't we pause this and you guys can try this one on your own and then unpause to check your answer. Okay, hopefully you guys got 100 for this. When you add them all up in your calculators, you get 700, and then there's seven values. So dividing 700 by 7 leaves us with 100, which is a pretty good approximation. Most of these numbers are pretty close to 100. Okay, guys, so that's it. <clears throat> Today's practice, it's all those prerequisite skills. Um, there are office hours. Oh, is that today? Um, hold on a second. <laughs> no, that's tomorrow. I'm sorry. Um, what was I going to say? Never mind. Um, so there's just practicing finding the mean, median, and mode for your homework. I only assigned the first five of them, but if you have the time, you can try more of them. Okay? So that's it for today's lesson. Hope you have fun.